Hello and welcome to Competitive Robotics. Today I'll show you how to make a very fast line follower. For the chassis, we'll be using a puff board. Actually, I have uh, cut the puff board according to the required size. Uh, the complete puff board will look something like this. I have uh, made the measurements and cut the puff board accordingly to save some time. I've cut this notch uh, to accommodate the line sensor which you will see in a moment. For the motor driver, I'll be using the Toshiba TB6612 FNG based motor driver by Ivani. For the brains, I'll be using the Arduino Nano. For the line sensor, I'll be using the Ivani UT. Uh, this is the most important part of a line follower. A good line sensor is very much required to make a good line follower. Uh, then I'll be using the micro metal gear motors for uh, driving the bot. I'll be using a 450 milliamp power LiPo battery as the power source. And then we'll be using a soldering iron, some soldering paste, soldering wire, uh, some double sided foam tape. Uh, some nuts and bolts to fix the motors, some nuts and bolts to fix the sensor. These are actually M2 nut and bolts. Uh, we will use to fix the line sensor. The first step is to lay out your components on the puff board. Uh, so you can be satisfied with your uh, space utilization on the board. You need to make your bot as compact as possible. And then once you are satisfied, you can go ahead and cut the puff board according to your requirements. These are female headers that I have soldered so that we can mount the microcontroller and the motor driver. And this is the power connector to which we will connect our battery. Uh, these are the wires on the underneath of the robot. This is actually a thumb pin that I'll be using as a caster. Uh, these are the axis of the motor and the center axis for the board. Make sure these axes are uh, very straight and they, they should not be misaligned. And the distance from the center axis of the motor to the center axis of the sensor should be at least 80% of the width between the two wheels. So we'll go ahead and assemble these components. Uh, for attaching the motor I'm using copper wire. Uh, make sure your motors are very aligned. They should not be at an angle. Make sure to use uh, some flux while soldering. This makes your soldering very neat and clean. Also, I'm using these bare copper wires. If you use something similar to that, make sure there are no short circuits in the circuit. And then I'll be using some more solder to fix these wires in place so that they don't move accidentally.
please do make sure that the center sensor of the line following sensor is exactly collinear with the center axis of the board To connect the sensor with the microcontroller, I have made this small harness. These are two female header pins and I have soldered some wire to make myself a small harness. Then we will mount the motor driver. and we'll mount the battery with some foam tape so once everything is done uh, make sure that there are no short circuits i'll be using my multimeter to check for any short circuits in the board Once you are satisfied that there are no short circuits, we will proceed to the coding and testing of the board in the next video. I'll leave a link to the schematic in the description as well as all the components used. Please like, share and subscribe. If you have any queries, please leave them in the comments. Thank you.